Hello everyone. The first time I drove my Tundra at night, immediately noticed that the side mirror switch has backlights to illum illuminate the buttons. So my first impression was that the switch was not working um, as expected, so I found later that this is the only switch without backlight. I still don't get it. I don't know why Toyota didn't care about that in terms of the usability, look and feel standardization, and um, many other stuff, but uh, we have to deal with it anyways. So because I have foldable mirrors, I tend to use this switch often. So I recently started to find options to add illumination and found a couple of options easy, but not the OEM look that I was looking for. Other expensive or not compatible at all because the switch configuration and the circuit vary by model and year. So I started to think about what else we can do to achieve this based on the following requirements. It must be cheap, compatible, OEM look as much as possible, and the same light, color, and brightness. So that being said, the objective is to modify the actual switch buttons by making holes on each and add a backlight below each one. Sounds doable and easy, but there are a few things that need to be considered. So this mod will be composed of two videos. This one where I'm going to show you how I modify the actual switch in preparation for the backlight. And the second part, I will show you how I add the lights below each button. First of all, welcome back. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's start by removing the switch from the dash. I started by carefully inserting a trimming tool below the switch. Um, the harness length is long enough to pull the switch out to be disconnected. Apply pressure to the clip in the upper side of the connector and pull it back. I identify the following spots to make holes in order to illuminate a dot on every surface that can be pressed in the switch. Since I always try to use things that I have at home, I use a bolt to make marks for each hole so that the drill bit doesn't slide and scratch the surface of the bot. I took my time to do this carefully, so I started with very low pressure and increased it little by little until I saw a good mark. Then I repeated the same process but this time using a 116 drill bit. First I did it by hand until I saw a good mark for the size of this drill bit and then proceeded to use my drill to perforate the rest. So now the idea is to fill all holes with translucent material. So I found in my son's backpack school glue. This is a kind of crazy action maybe, but if it keeps there it's ideal because when it dry, change from white to transparent. And this is exactly what I needed. I don't know if this glue is going to hold high temperatures, but this is something that can be replaced at any time. So I decided to give it a try. As I said before, always try to use what I have at home but there there are many other glues that also change transparent when it dry so in the worst case scenario it just matters to use the same drill bit to remove the glue and apply another one if needed as you see here I just added a decent amount of glue over each hole and apply a little pressure to fill it and remove the remain so now um, I just repeated the same steps for the other buttons First, uh, make marks using something thin as this bolt, then use a drill bit by hand, and finally with your drill. Then proceed to add the glue and let it dry.
So finally, this is how it looks now. I'm going to try to repaint the four R's to see how it looks and show you that on my next video too. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button below if you like this content. Stay tuned and please let me know what you think about this. Any feedback, suggestion, opinion or question, please feel free to add below. Okay, thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye bye.